Today's colors we're going to be using uh, lemon yellow, crushed orange, fuchsia red, teal blue, emerald green, turquoise blue, chartreuse green, and baby blue. They're all one to one ratio, meaning one tablespoon of dye, one tablespoon of soda ash. Then here we have our shirt, it's size 5X, short sleeve, laid it flat out on the table. Uh, we spun it out a few times in the middle, probably three times, and then we scrunched it all together into the swirls. And what we're first going to do is we're going to lay down our dark teal and make this circle. We're going to lay the greens and the blues in the middle. Around the outer edge is going to be the fuchsia red and the orange and the yellow open up. Color by color. So here we have our dark teal blue laid out in our circle. Uh, what the first thing we're going to do is <clears throat> we have a crock pot over here with our water already above 150 degrees. We got our turkey baster here. We're going to fill it up. Come over to our shirt. I'm going to go slowly around the shirt. Fill it in. We'll go all the way around, maybe two times. So here you can see the teal blue we did all the way around in the circle. So now we're going to fill the inside up with the, the dark greens and the light blues, color by color. Okay, so we got our dye uh, placement up here at the baby blue. I put a lot more baby blue because it's a lighter color. We want to try to keep it. We're going to actually start with that color first when we put it in the hot water. So over here, always be careful when you open this up because of the steam coming out. Make sure you have your safety uh, equipment on. What I like to do is, especially when I first take the first turkey baster fill it up squirt it back in there that gets a warm in here you get to keep that temperature a little bit I mean that's just me got a full one ounce turkey baster full like I said we're going to start over here with the baby blue first because it's the lightest color get that try to set first and I'll go through all these other colors then we'll work on the outer rim. And I also put the baby blue up at the top of the shirt. Open that, you know, the dye run down into the middle and save that blue. Because it's a real light blue. You can see it. I'm just going to let it go in. And I'll do that to the rest of the colors. We'll see what it looks like. As you can see, one ounce of water covers a very fairly, fairly amount of t-shirt. Probably about a quarter inch away. You don't want to get too close because you'll suck up the dye in there. Right now I'm like pulsating it. I'm squeezing, then go, squeezing. It's called the pulsating technique. All right, so I'll do that to the rest of them, and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, here you can see I did the middle. I got the two blues and two greens set. I took the fuchsia red. I went all the way around the outside of the teal blue. Now all I have to do is hit that with the hot water and move on to the orange and the yellow, color by color. Okay, so we got the fuchsia red, red laid down. And as you can see here, it's going to be a little bit tight to put that crushed orange in that yellow. 
Don't worry, it's tie-dye. It, that's, sometimes that's the way it works. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to eliminate the crushed orange and just put the lemon yellow all the way around. And we're actually going to lay it pretty heavy so we can get that orange-yellow effect on the outside to make the shirt pop when we're done. So I'll lay down the yellow and we'll take it from there, color by color. Taking out the crushed orange really isn't a big deal. That's something you just deal with. As long as it ain't a customer's shirt, you can keep on going. Because when we add the, the yellow uh, to the fuchsia red, it's going to turn orange anyway. It's no big deal. It's tie-dye. Color by color. So I got the lemon yellow laid down. Put it fairly heavy on there. Because you know it's going to dissipate because it's a light color. And we'll just start adding the hot water. And when we hit it with the water, we're going to try to push it towards the outer edge. So it goes, you know, downwards instead of inwards. Try to keep some of that yellow in there. Hit it slow, let it go down. I'll go all the way around. Okay, so here we pretty much got all our colors set. You know, the hot water set it pretty fast. Uh, check out the end of the video. I'll leave a chart on the temperature like I always do. Uh, but you look over at the crack pot, we still got quite a bit of water left. <clears throat> like I said, it's all about saturation. You got your tool. Look inside here. You know, look inside your pleats. Make sure you got it saturated. Lift it up. It's looking good. You say, oh yeah, that's looking good. Like I said, the key to the saturation, we have to use all this water. So take the extra five minutes to use the rest of the water you had to heating up anyway. And what we're basically going to do, fill up our one ounce turkey baster. Now that the, water, uh, the, the dye is set into the shirt, I like to pretty much go in the middle. and Just squeeze it all out, fill it up. Get that shirt dripping from the bottom. Get that good saturation. You already set the color so you don't have to pretty much worry about it blending into any other ones. As they say called mudding it up. And I'll use all this water till it's gone. Keep putting it on. Let it saturate through. Let it sit for an hour. Rinse it out, put it in the wash. We got an awesome shirt, 5X. Always like to work from the middle and go out, push it outwards. See how that's puddling up in there? That's good. It's going to soak through all the way through into your tray. Like I said, the key to the saturation is plenty of hot water. See any bits of soda ash? Hit it with the hot water.